Well, hello! Today we're showing you key combinations in Seven Days to Die. Not crouch, not jump, not left, not right, none of those. Keys that do things just like this. Let's start with some standard keys. Hold tab and up will come this lovely ring of awesomeness that will help you get to every single menu in game. I'll show you a couple more and then we'll get into debug mode and we'll see all the special ones. A quick mention for those new players, if you're on a roof overnight crouching pressing C, why not hold Alt? And that left Alt will keep you crouched so you can do things and hopefully the zombies won't hear you. Okay, okay, I know this is an extreme hill, but on any slope with any vehicle, if you want to press the handbrake and stop it rolling away hold down the space bar and when you do jump off you'll find that the vehicle will stay in place and go nowhere whilst i show you that you can park on a mountain with a gyrocopter we're going to get into debug mode now and find out all those extra special keys in the game. As I stare at the most hidden loot probably in this game, in a POA I reviewed recently, we're going to press F1 and then we're going to type in DM, enter and F1 again to remove that and then we're ready to go. I never normally ask, but you know, it's a bleak and cold world out here in Seven Days to Die on YouTube. I'm nearly a thousand subs. Why not hit that button? Holy moly, what am I doing up here? Well, if you want to press H and then press space and C, you'll go up and down. And also you can use WASAD to fly about. But that's not the usual way of doing it. The best way is type Q. And then you can do all those things straight away because you are in God mode. When you go up to a zombie, you can see all their information like this utility worker. Schmackaroonie! And... Uh, it's getting all stressed me. But he's not moving. Why? Because I press star on the numb keypad. And if I use that as a toggle, he will come at me and all the zombies will switch on and off. Look at him getting stroppy. Well, up on this roof here, we've got a whole bunch of zombies sitting here. And I did say in God mode that you could get all of that information. But in fact, that's not all the information. How about you type in the zero key on the num keypad. And then you do see all the stuff about little zombie. So zombie Arlene, a sleeper. You can see her health. And you can even see other bits of information if you really want to geek out. Blah! A question I often get is how do you jump ahead in God mode? Well, if you hold shift, then you go a little bit faster. But whilst holding shift, if you keep tapping Q, then you jump forward. In debug mode, a few F keys suddenly become active. If you press F8, normally in game, you get the FPS in that left hand corner. But if you press it again with debug mode on, you get the heat chunk and other goodies. Uh, press F8 to get rid of it. F3 brings up a, a whole plethora of stuff for you to mess around with and look at. Importantly, you can get your X, Y and Z coordinates if you're trying to make a spawn point on a map very exact. Again, F3 to get rid of that. F5 will take you out of your body so you can dream of having muscles like that. And F6, well, that's a normal, isn't it? You just get to spawn lots of gorgeous entities so we can, like, pick a chicken and it'll just suddenly appear in front of us. But did you know if you hold a shift and F6, you can get all the funky things that would happen in a Twitch stream to appear so we can give everyone big heads and dance off and we can have a little bit of fun watching those zombies dance around. So now let's talk about camera in debug mode. We can press F5 and go into uh, the third person mode. Pressing P locks that camera and now we can swivel ourselves around and have a bit of fun there. Left square bracket puts us into free camera mode so we can fly about. But oh god, this is a bit too fast for me. So if we hold shift and then the negative key, the minus key a few times, then the camera will slow down. And if I keep pressing it absolutely tons of time then we go into slow mode this isn't just in camera mode this is also in god mode you can change the speed at which you fly about that's shift minus and shift plus when in debug mode, it is possible to press the Z key, which produces this blue selection box. Now, this is all well and good and used when using the admin tools. I've made videos on them indeed. But if you really want to do anything with it, well, you need to be in editor mode. And we are making a video that goes through every key in the editor mode, including all the tricksy ones as well. So make sure you hit subscribe. Now, if you see this and you want to get rid of it, well, just hit the backspace key and it will disappear. 
it up. Big shout out to subscriber level 50 unlocked who has helped me compile all the keys that we are using today and in the next video. And to help you along, if you can't remember them all, well, you can just basically head on down to the Discord and download a lovely document with them all written in. Where are you, zombies? So now we're getting into some of the interesting ones. If I press star again, these zombies become active and he wants to eat me. But what if I press the backslash on the numerical keypad? Well, now he doesn't know where I am. I've become invisible, which, of course, you can use with F7 to get rid of your HUD. So if you want to take any photos in game with nothing in the way, it looks fantastic. Where are you going? Now, this one is great fun. It's to do with the speed of the game. I think it's called the tick rate if it updates faster or slower. But anyway, just keep hitting the minus key on your numeric keypad and it will get slower and slower. And you can see the zombies move in an awesome way. Vice versa, keep hitting the plus key and everything gets faster and faster and faster. And oh my God, it gets a little bit crazy. There is an advantage playing with debug mode on even if you're not in God mode. Because just imagine if the phone rang or like somebody came to the door. Well, just hit enter. And if you hit enter on your numeric keypad, then the whole game pauses. Well, it's getting late here in Seven Days to Die, so I might as well show you the last few combinations that I know. The first one is really weird. I don't know why anyone needs to use it. Of course, I'm moving myself around with my mouse, but if I press the one, the number one on the numerical keypad, well, here I am moving my mouse. Nothing's happening. I can still walk around, jump, crouch, do the whole lot, but it is a mouse lock. Why do we need it? I don't know. Tell me in the comments. Ah, Coleman's Drive in, a wonderful place. If you frame up here, you got the chance of cheesing all the final loot. The only problem is absolutely everyone wakes up and it becomes complete and utter madness. Look at them. They're going to eat me. So what is that key combination to kill absolutely everything? Well, when in debug mode and it's very loud in here, hold left control and then hit the full stop button, the period on the numerical keypad and boom, everything dies. If you have made it this far into the video, then I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Please hit that like and subscribe because many more videos like this will be coming out. And here we have a zombie. Here we have my two little vehicles. And I'm going to show you the extra two little things that you get in debug mode. Firstly, as they're coming after me, trying to beat the heck out of me, I think to myself, oh yes, I'll just use that tip that I was told. Hold down control and then hit the period button on my numeric keypad. But just be aware of this. It also blows up your vehicles. And finally, just for pure comical fun, if you are in debug mode and you do not have God mode on, then you hit that period button on your numerical keypad and you will ragdoll. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Goodbye.